Ah, mommy, mommy, today in school I learned about where animals sleep. Wow, very good. Come, I test you. Huh? Where do bears sleep? Ah, I know, in a den. Hmm, abu den. Huh? Then, what about birds? Where do birds sleep? Ah, uh, the birds sleep in a nest. Your head then nest. Huh? What nest? Who teach you nest? All wrong. Huh? All wrong. Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello! So, yeah, most people think that birds sleep in a nest. But that's actually a misconception, kinda. So, for today's episode, I'm actually going to bring you all around Singapore to show you otherwise. So, you know what? Let's cut to the chase and let's get going! Oh, look, there's a nest right there. Okay, so first things first, birds actually only build nests when it's time to lay eggs, right? And they only actually sleep in the nests when they need to incubate the eggs or to keep their baby chicks warm. And throughout the channel, I've actually featured some birds and their nests before. And as you can see, it is always with eggs or with chicks. But even then, not all birds lay their eggs in a nest, right? Because, you know, for example, you've got your penguins, huh? They put their eggs on their boot patch, which is right above their feet. And then we've got our hornbills, right? Like those in Singapore. And they only lay eggs specifically in the holes or hollows of trees. And we've also got some birds that will even just lay eggs on the ground. Just on the ground. But yes, so when it's not the breeding season, birds actually sleep in something called roosting spots, right? And although a majority of birds do sleep on tree branches or in bushes, you know, roosting spots can really be a you know, wide range of many different areas. And you might be thinking, huh, Sean, why are you looking for roosting spots in the daytime? Well, because for our first bird, look who I found, huh? It's the large-tailed nightjar. So this bird though is sleeping in the daytime because it is a nocturnal bird. And even if you think that you have never seen this bird in your whole life before, you have probably heard it. Okay, you hear the tiu 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 sound? Ah, that one is not a car lock. <laughs> that one is your night jar. So these night jars are actually a pretty common native bird here in Singapore. And they usually roost on the ground solitarily in the daytime. And they are also actually one of the birds who lay eggs just on the ground, like I mentioned just now. Although they do usually sleep deeper in and taller grass, right? But look, even here in the open, you can see by their colouring that they are very hard to spot, right? Because camouflage. And especially, look, it's so motionless. And they will stay this way till night time, where they will start to fly around to hunt for flying insects. Okay, let's leave this fella to sleep, you know, he needs energy to hunt for dinner later. Come, let's continue. So now we are at Singapore Botanical Gardens because I want to feature the swans here. So these are specifically mute swans and they are not native to Singapore, right? They were actually imported from Amsterdam. But you can still spot them swimming around freely in our botanical gardens. And so water birds, like your swans, they roost or sleep in a very different way too, right? In that they just sleep in the open water, floating like that. And they will actually curl up like this. Now, water birds behave this way because it's actually safer to be on the water. Because, I mean, it takes a lot of effort to swim over just to hunt. Plus, swimming also makes a lot of noise, right? And swans are very light sleepers, so they can very easily hear you and then just escape. Furthermore, their bodies are basically made for being comfortable while floating on water, right? They've got this oily, waterproof coating on their feathers, which helps them to naturally stay afloat. 
So why sleep on a hard branch when you can just roost on a very comfortable water bed, right? Huh? These swans really know how to live life to the fullest. But okay, you know what? Let's not disturb them any further because we've got one more bird to find. Come, let's go. Okay, so as you can see, the sun has obviously set already. But for this final bird, we're actually going to go full urban because I think I found the nastiest building in Singapore. So come, let's go. Okay, so I won't reveal the location because as you can see, this place is really filthy. I don't want any of you to come here and even myself, I'm wearing a mask, right? But if you've ever wondered where our rock pigeons sleep at night, here you go. So pigeons don't only sleep on such ledges in buildings, right? But you can actually see pigeons roost on trees or even on the rooftops of buildings, right? But basically, pigeons are very easygoing and they're suited for urban environments. So if there's any flat ground, right, it's sleeping time already. But it's actually a big problem also because as you can see over here, it's bird poop. And with bird poop, especially to this degree, you will have pathogens, right? Which are things that will make you sick. Right, but clearly, the management have tried to solve this issue by putting up these bird spikes. Not to hurt them, but to prevent roosting. But clearly, it is not a foolproof solution because you look all around me, the pigeons are all still sleeping here. Okay, I can't take it already. I need to get out of here. We finally got out. Uh, but yeah, so roosting in an urban environment is a whole topic on its own, right? Especially when it comes to human health. And it often leads to topics like, you know, culling and animal management. But you know what's the best solution? As you can already see in the posters in many of our neighbourhoods, one way is to stop feeding pigeons. Because even till today, I still see people feeding pigeons and feeding birds like deliberately, right? And it's gonna cause more problems than good. So please, ah, tolong, ah, stop feeding them. But yeah, back to roosting. If you have ever wondered where birds go to sleep at night because you don't see them around on the streets anymore, I hope I answered that question a little bit. And just to reiterate again, most birds do roost on trees. Although most of the time, again, it's not going to be a nest that they built, right? But a lot of them do just sleep on tree branches or just in a bush. But yeah, as I always say on this channel, if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll notice that nature has a lot of surprises for you, right? Even where birds sleep also can be so interesting. Yeah, but you know, look, the sky is dark, it's very late, I need to use a torchlight already. So it is my turn to also go and sleep, but uh, on a proper bed. But before we go, I'd like to give a big shout out to my patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Spot Mesh, you know, no, 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 England, HR Queen, Leopards, Muffin, Jets, Pink Who, Master, Jablock, Tango, Amal, Dilo, Neko, Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Uncle Kyung, Fauzi, Wailanaw, Crooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Two Circles, Amy, Stacy, Lul, Quack Quack, Mama and Momo, Pixel, and Ama. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly and if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it is a jungle out on the ledge of the building because that's where the birds sleep. Okay, it's my turn to go and sleep. Bye-bye, good night.